Hey, what is going on, fellow tubers? It's me again, Will 2000 here. Welcome back to another Godzilla tour review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Vinyl King Ghidorah. Now, King Ghidorah, this specific version of King Ghidorah makes his first appearance in the 1991 Hesse film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Without further ado, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so similar to the Godzilla 2000 figure that I just recently reviewed, King Ghidorah only has four points of articulation. Both of his wings could rotate in a 360 degree radius, and so can both of his legs. But, if you ask me, this is pretty much all you need with a King Ghidorah figure, since, well, he can't really do much. The second thing you need with a King Ghidorah is to have his necks very movable. Despite the fact that it has no points of articulation, they at least need to move kind of like this. But with this out of the way, let's move on into the detail. Alright, so King Ghidorah is a very nicely done figure. The golden scales on this figure makes his color pop very well. And the red eyes that he has is also good. Though I think he had slit eye, slit pupils instead of round ones. But that, that's, that's just okay. If you could focus, some of the teeth are not painted in the middle head, which is kind of bad. Some of the teeth aren't painted 100% on the side heads, and it kind of looks lazy in the mouth. Oh well. And that's just wear and tear of the figure. Had them for a very long time. We can see the wings. The wings just look gorgeous. Taking a look at the legs. Well, the legs have some shadow detail here, and that's pretty awesome. The toes are supposed to be silver, but due to wear and tear of the figure, some of the uh, coloring is gone. Obviously, the bottom of the feet has nothing on it, except for some words. Bandai 1998 and 1998. So this figure was also made in 1998. Taking a look at his tail, very nicely done. The spikes on the end of his tail kind of looks like hair due to, well, how they made this figure. Though it's not really hair, it's actually spikes. But with that out of the way, there's nothing... There's nothing else to say other than this figure is just awesome. So let's move on into the next part. Have you noticed how big this figure is in terms of width? Yeah, he's 12 inches long in terms of width. In height, he's actually 6 inches tall. And if you like move the middle head all the way up, he's 7 inches tall. But with that out of the way, let's move on. Let's compare him to the Bandai Godzilla 90s. And as we can see, Godzilla 90s doesn't really scale up properly with him. Until, I guess, you put the head all the way up, and which he does. Turning them both to the front, we can actually see King Ghidorah is really tall and long, but that's because of his tail hitting that wall right there. And let's also compare him to the Bandai legendary King Ghidorah. And they both stack up pretty much evenly with each other. I'm going to have to move this back really far. Turn both of them towards the camera. This is kind of difficult since they're both long as hell so yeah that's pretty much it guys overall this figure is simply amazing with the awesome detail and color palette this figure will no doubt make you just want to salivate and just get this figure however what about that price unfortunately on amazon this the uh this figure is $60, and while that's kind of pushing it, I would still rather say $20 to $30 is your best bargain for your buck, and I haven't recently seen one that's like that yet, so $60 it is then. So, unfortunately, due to that price, I am going to have to give this a 4.5 out of 5 instead of 5 stars. Otherwise, this is a really awesome figure. Highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys into the next toy review.